What's going on, everybody out there? Hope you're staying safe out there, washing your hands, you know, disinfecting everything if you go out in the public. I went to Costco the other day and I wore a mask. I'm not, I'm not afraid to wear a mask. There's lions out by the zoo. You don't know if this virus is, you know, airborne yet or what. So I have two stocks that I'm looking at right now. One, NLST. I'm actually in this stock. I've been in this a while, but they have some stuff coming up next week, which is why I'm basically calling this one a lottery ticket. And the next stock that I'm looking at for a potential swing trade is APRN. I already made a lot of money off this stock when the thing ran up. What did it go to? 25 bucks or whatever. But I'm looking at it for a potential setup right now. It might not happen for a couple of days. So I'm definitely going to be setting alerts on where this stock is so that way I know where where I think I want to get in this stock. And APRN, this is a Corona bias stock, you could say as well too. They're all trash stocks, just know that. So if you guys are new to my channel and you don't want to hit that subscribe button down below, just go ahead and hit that like button and let's get right into these two stocks that I'm looking at. So the first thing we're going to look at here is the SPY because you want to know what the SPY is doing, especially in this kind of market that we're trading in right now. And I have this trend line right here, you can see, and it's trading right underneath that. So zoom in right here, here's a trend line right here. You can see it has been rejecting it. I personally think for the market to start to turn around and a lot of people are saying that we haven't hit the bottom yet and some people are saying that we have hit the bottom. But for me, what I would like to see for the market to start to turn around would be if we can get up above this trend line here, You'd probably say right around 260 would be a good number. Get above it, consolidate, and stay above this trend line and then have a higher high. That is a key to me that tells me that the market is gonna start to turn around. But right now with this coronavirus, we don't have a cure. This thing could last a year. So I personally don't see it doing that as of right now. All right, this is APRN right here I had pulled up. And I traded this stock I was in right around at $3 and then I think it was 70 cents when I got in. And I ended up selling right around $7, which is right around this area right here. And yeah, I left a lot of money on the table. Even though I missed out on all of this money here, you know, I still had enough money to buy a nice little toy for, for doing yard work around the house because you need to find things to do to keep your mind sane. I mean, you just can't stay inside all day, can you? But that's fine. You know, this has happened to me multiple times where a stock has run up just absolutely crazy and I left all that money on the table. But the key to being a successful trader is you need to follow your rules. So anyways, what I'm looking at here, we have resistance right around the 1425 and it's rejected it a bunch here. So what I would like to see happen, there's two situations that I'm looking to buy this stock. If APRN keeps dropping, we're gonna have support here right around $9.26. I'm gonna get in there if it keeps dropping, just because it has tested the support you know, more than a couple times. And the second indicator for me to get in this stock for a swing trade would be if it can break this $4.25 and continue to start ripping up past $15, I think this thing could run, but it needs to break through that. So as of right now, I don't wanna buy this stock right where it is because it's basically right in the middle of the channel. So those are my two alerts I'm going to set for this stock. This is a coronavirus stock, so just know that the stock is kind of trash. Before the whole coronavirus thing started, this thing was trading down at $2. So just keep that in mind. Next stock we're looking at is NLST. And this is uh, the lottery ticket one that I was talking about in the beginning of the show. And if you're looking at it right here, it's looking like a cup and handle pattern. But I've made videos about the stock before. They went into a court case with SK Hike, or however, however you say it, the uh, Korean company. So this is a chip company here, kind of like AMD. And they have a patent infringement, I guess SK, and, and they already won the first court case. And that's what this big spike was right here. It went all the way up to 63 cents. And then it pumped back down and then it pumped back up again. This thing is prone for pump and dumps. So now you can see we've been gaining some traction here coming up to the date, which is Tuesday, the date where it's going to be the final determination if SK has to pay NLST money for patent infringement on their chips. And you're probably wondering, isn't the court closed and everything with the coronavirus? Everything is being done over the phone. All of the paperwork has already been done for this. So like I was said, coming up to this date on Tuesday, you can see we're starting to get a little bit of a run. And on Monday, Monday, we might even see a little bit more of a run. So if you guys want a lottery ticket, I want to say don't put a lot of money into the stock just because we don't really know what the outcome is going to be, but they already won the first court case. So that's why I'm saying that it's probably going to be over a 50% chance, maybe 60% chance 
that they could win this case. But with the coronavirus and all that stuff, you don't really know what the courts are going to do. Because I think we might see this run up to about 35 cents on Monday. So NLST, I am in that one. I'm already in it. And I'm pretty invested into this company just because I believe that they're going to win this court case. But like I said, nothing is for sure in the stock market. And then APRN, I'm going to go ahead and keep my eye on that, set my alerts. So whichever way it wants to go, I'm ready to buy either way. If not, it's just going to consolidate and go sideways, but it's something's going to happen. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and like this video and I'll see you next time. Let's make some money, everybody. You know what I like to do on beautiful nights? Sit back, relax and play the guitar. Let your worries go away. Mm -hmm.